Oh, what a way to end this trip, huh? <laughs> I've seen all kinds of weather on this. <laughs> epic, absolutely epic. Hello, hello, hello. Today you join me in Chamonix. I'm back here hiking the Tour de Mont Blanc. Last year, I climbed up Mont Blanc. That is the mountain behind me there. But this year, I'm gonna do the Tour de Mont Blanc back with Adventure Base, and I'm doing it with my brother. We're doing it, we're doing it. But yeah, we're hiking the Tour de Mont Blanc today. It's gonna to take us seven days. We're gonna be through hiking. We're gonna be staying at huts along the way. We're kind of doing this in luxury, but it's more our style. We're really excited to just jump in experience it do a hundred mile hike yeah this is a self-guided tour de mont blanc we haven't got a guide we're just doing it just me and my brother so yeah we're really excited to just basically get stuck in yeah we're back in chamonix people we are back look at that view unbelievable the air is so clean and fresh it's so lovely and yeah really enjoying it so far i've heard that we're coming up to a himalayan bridge soon which is going to be really good fun really interesting the scenery is just absolutely insane yet to get lost and yeah just really enjoying it guys it's so good to be back in the Alps I'm a little bit out of breath as you can tell this hill is a killer our bags are probably as heavy as they're gonna be so we are definitely feeling that a little bit we think our hut is somewhere in this forest here but it's only like 12 middays so we've got so much time this first day is super super chill and yeah it's just been class guys like I just said to Joe while looking out at this mountain range that this is literally like heaven, like this place, this part of the world. It just seems like dreamlike. It doesn't seem real. It's so incredible. As you can see, I've got a headphone in my left ear. That's because Joe's got the one in his other ear. We're just listening to tunes as we go. It's quite a good idea, actually, especially coming down that harsh hill that we just did. It's quite nice pumping Lord of the Rings, other good tunes in your ears as you're coming down. Gives you a bit of hope. These refuges are so nice. So, so chill, super chill. <sighs> one more hill and then chill out for the rest of the day. Let's do it. Oh. Yeah, we're feeling really, really positive now. Ready to settle down now and just chill out for the rest of the day. Posy vibes on the trail. Guys, we've just checked into our lovely refuge. It is behind us up here. We've got dormitories, so that means we're sleeping in bunk beds, but I'm absolutely fine with that. I could probably curl up in a ball and sleep just about anywhere right now. Guys, we just hiked up to a viewing station called Mont Truck. It is right above our lovely chalet dormitory, which is just down there. And this view is crazy. My brother and our new friend, Natalie, are going to look over the edge of this, just see what it looks like from afar. Yeah, it's really cool meeting people on the trail. So many nice people out here. It's awesome. Yeah, we're just chilling now. Oh, taking in the views, man. Day one, what a success. What a success. Check out this view. The sun is just starting to come over the mountains. I love the way these houses are built and the way they look. Like, it reminds me of Switzerland. I'd love to get a little apartment out here. That'd be class, just a little base of operations for various hikes, and that would be sick. We've got to pick up some supplies and then crunch some miles. Often when hiking, your knees hurts coming down the hill, so we've devised a new way to counteract that pain. <laughs> <laughs> you may think this is in reverse, it's not. We're just walking down the hill backwards, saving the knee pain. <laughs> Look at this, we got our baguettes. We've got baguettes for days. Dude. Supplies, broski. Needed, needed. Absolutely needed. Natalie's getting the apples. Strong. This is my supply haul, guys. I've got a baguette, two bottles of water, ham and cheese. Hopefully that'll keep me out for the day. Joe, you got enough? Definitely right. <laughs> I've got it all. There's nothing left in there. Bought the whole shop. <laughs> my, my baguette has snapped in half, which is very sad. Following this road for a bit, and then we're going to get back on the trail. Day two is looking like it's going to be an awesome day. Look at this church. It's, it's incredible. Such a beautiful area. Time for some food, I think. Oh, is you this one too? Open the gate then. Oh. <laughs> That's got me down. Oh. We're so lucky to be here. It's a Monday today, so normally I'll be back at work, checking for emails, going through admin, prepping the week's projects. But instead I'm here, I'm switched off, I'm completely unattached, completely just present. What a beautiful spot. It's incredible. 
God, it just feels amazing, guys. It feels absolutely amazing. I hope this video is inspiring you to get outside and to maybe check out this trail, but also to just make use of the time that's given to you, really. If you get an opportunity to go outside, even in your local area, just take it with both hands, because this is where we're meant to be. Look at that view. Incredible. Oh. I feel like we spent the first half of the day just in a valley, so it's so nice to come out on the top, see some proper mountains again. Oh, it was worth the craft. Guys, this is what I imagined when we decided we would go on this hike. It's just incredible, guys. It's just mountains on every side, blue sky, sun beating down. You can hear cowbells in the distance, a river in the distance too. Oh man, it's just, wow. <laughs> this is sick. Look at this. It's just so, so sick. Oh my God. It's actually so nice. Ice cold, but it's nice. That's how you stay cool on the Tour de Mont Blanc. <sighs> that's that? big. Huh? That's big. Smashing this. Joe and Natalie are ahead as usual. I'm just smashing kennel mint cake. Hoping the sugar rush is gonna get me there. One more push, people. One more push. We got this. Vamos. 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 Jeez. That was strong, yeah. Yeah, that was good. The view's worth it. It's a whole new mountain range, isn't it? It does look very different. It looks more like west, like canyons and stuff, yeah? Nice. Oh, success. I love the vastness of these mountain ranges. I love how simple and quiet things are up here. The people you meet are always so, so friendly. What an absolute grind that was, huh? Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. <sighs> Did it then? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <sighs> Just look like it could go. <laughs> go on, Joe. Go on, I got a bit of beauty. This one's, this one's a Burke and A bit of Jenga going on. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> going for an easy boy. That one's from Dave Mack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Down there. We are right near the end now. The hut is inside, thank God. We are all absolutely shattered. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna be doing some yoga. Check this out. Wanna get involved? No? It's free entry. That was a hard night. It's a class one. Oh, yeah, Straight legs, though. Oh, straight leg only, baby. Oh, he's done it! That's pretty good. That's no. good. Roly poly, though. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a new day. It's day three on the trail and day four in France. And yeah, feeling good. Slept fairly well, unfortunately. I was in a bunk bed above the biggest snorer in the world. I don't know who they were, just a randomer who just loves to snore. Uh, so that kept me up quite a fair bit into the night, but yeah, it's a really nice hut. The food is banging. We're gonna go off the planned route that Adventure Base gave us. We're gonna go on a variant. This would turn out to be the worst decision of the whole trip. Woo! We're gonna smash today. We definitely are. First bit of sunshine for the day. Reaching our first major peak of the day. That's beautiful. Huh? We missed the turning, and instead of going around this small mountain range, we accidentally ended up going over it. Mm. 
guys, I'm not going to lie. The last like three hours have been absolute carnage. We basically went off route and yeah, it just did not go to plan. We went for one of those higher passes. We thought it would be really fun. We thought it was going to help our knees and we didn't have to go down straight away, but actually it just resulted in just draining boulder field after boulder field and it was just horrible. So yeah, lesson learned, do not go off the route. Do not go off the path. We are going to be sticking to the path for the rest of the time that we are here religiously yeah we're really happy that we're out of it now back on the planned trail so very happy about that we decided to brush the experience off of our shoulders and focus on the remaining miles of the day we were actually feeling pretty confident because we knew that no path could be as hard as the one that we had just trodden Ooh, mate, you were flying up there i was flying well, we're doing all right we've got a bit of momentum going and you know felt the pace felt good felt strong so yeah four miles well every time i got to a new like summit i would just see joe's shadow in the distance you're literally silhouetted in the distance at the top of every peak that we just did but you're like the terminator coming after me though <laughs> the terminator coming after me just marching <laughs> it was jokes oh yeah, that, was good fun. that was actually really really fun i did enjoy that that was a good, that was a good uh, challenge for sure yeah good effort seriously good effort check out how many gals there are it's crazy Hilarious. <laughs> oh, where are we putting these? I am knackered. This is our room. It's a private room in the hut. Yeah, it's pretty sweet to have our own space and just be able to switch off from the world. Yeah. It was a good night's sleep. Ready to start day five or four, whatever day it is. Four. Ready to start day four. Here we go. We're hiking half the day, taking a bus to the next stop and then hiking the rest of the day. So it shouldn't be too long of a day. Something like 11 Ks all in, which is needed after the last couple of days has been absolute carnage. So yeah, I'm doing the old classic be bold, start cold thing. So I'm, I'm just wearing my waterproof layer because I know that I'm gonna start sweating like crazy once we get going. It's gonna be a wet one today, my friends. Very wet indeed. I don't have a bag cover, so I've made one out of a poncho. Look at this. It's ridiculous, isn't it? But yeah, we're gonna have a great day regardless. I've gone for shorts, which may or may not be a mistake. We'll see. Let's crush some miles, people. What a view. What a view. doing it Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. hopefully we're gonna head into town now get some more supplies some more knee tape um, and some bag covers we'll see though this landscape is mad when it's wet it's kind of got another element of beauty look at this <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> all of our knees are killing so we're trying out a new technique running down the hill in zigzags <laughs> always got to remember to look up What time is it? Is it like 10.44? 10.44. We're about to jump on the bus into town. Oh, fingers crossed everything works out. You have to wear a mask on these buses, so hopefully they accept my balaclava. We'll see. Nearly there. This day's going so much better than yesterday already. So we jumped on a bus, skipped a few miles of road walking, and arrived in Kumaya. Here I picked up a bougie Patagonia backpack rain cover, which you will see later on. Yeah. And we also discovered this secret Italian pizza place and had the best lunch of the entire trip. I ate two slices of potato pizza and guys, it was incredible. We then headed out back into the rain and because I was full of pizza, I think I hiked my absolute slowest of the entire trip. <laughs> this is wet. Very, very, very wet. <laughs> I'm hoping at some point we get out of these clouds, but who knows? Super misty. Look at that view, that view is crazy. Oh, so that is the end of the day. End of day four? Yeah, end of day four. It was a bit of a nuts one. I couldn't really film that much today, it was raining. After the absolute carnage of yesterday, it was nice to have a much more chilled day, but it does mean that we have to basically make up the distance tomorrow. We have a crazy day ahead of us, me and my brother. You see in these videos like other hikers making friends along the trips and stuff, but I kind of didn't really expect it to happen for us. We actually have, we met so many cool people. Ha hiking with Natalie for the last like three days straight has been really good fun. Hiking with Melissa today has been really cool as well. We met her last night at the last hut. So yeah, it's cool. You meet awesome people when you're hiking. And yeah, I'm just saying like, when you come to these things, it doesn't matter if you come alone because you can make friends along the way. If you're friendly and you smile at people and you don't look dangerous, then you know, I think you could be able to do pretty well and make some friends along the trail. 
Today is the fifth day. We are dealing with a couple of injuries. As I said, my feet are red raw. Joe's knees are killing him, but we're pressing on regardless. This is going to be our longest day. It's going to be like 26 Ks. We are going to absolutely smash it. We're doing everything we can to succeed today. Once we're past this, I truly believe that we will be on the home stretch. Also, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, hit the like button and press the big red button down below. Subscribe, join our channel on the race to 10,000 subscribers and I'd love for you to be a part of our community. So yeah, consider joining us. But anyways, let's get stuck in with today's adventure. Guys, this was the best coffee I have probably ever had in my life. <laughs> Living it up. <laughs> just bang the coffee and feel absolutely brilliant and yeah now we're just absolutely crushing this day longest day yet but we're gonna get there that's for sure oh that looks creepy in there those houses look a bit like blair witch don't they looks like there might be something a little bit forbidden living in there getting away from there fast this is probably my favorite part of the trail so far. Absolutely epic. And we've met up with Melissa again. So we're back to a trio of three. We lost Natalie this morning, which is very, very sad. She had to turn around because she's only doing half the Tour de Mont Blanc, but it's nice. We've got a little group going again. Easy, easy. Yeah, baby, winner! All right, guys, this is how Cool off your knees if you're suffering on the downhill. Find an ice cold lake, try and find a rock that you can balance on. You could put your knees straight down on the rocks under the lake, but I'm gonna try and balance and stay above it. Cool off like that. Way. Oh my god, that feels amazing. It's like having ice packs on your knees. That's how to do it, man. We're finding on this trip, the longer we go, the more injuries we're getting, just soreness and tightness. So we're just doing everything we can to just stay fit, stay healthy, recover quickly. Joe's got tape on his knees. I'm cooling off my knees and going really slowly on the downhill section. It's four hours in, we're eight miles in. We've got to do another eight miles, but we actually think this terrain's going to be fine because we're going up for the next like sort of four miles and we're going down for four miles pretty much. So yeah, intense day, but a good day. All right, guys, let's plod on, shall we? The rain is coming down, my friends. Oh, very soon we're going to be crossing the border into Switzerland. Oh, Joe's in the, in the distance, killing the miles as always. Woohoo! Here we go. Woo! Bum, 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 bum. I'm in Italy. I'm in Switzerland. I'm in Italy. <laughs> I'm in Switzerland. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. We did it. Take that in, that's crazy. We've been hiking for a total of 10 hours, which is fun. Definitely the longest day so far, and we're still not even at the bus stop. So it's looking like it's gonna be an 11 or 12 hour day. And here people, we are reminded why it's so handy to book these trips through a company like Adventure Base. We let Ollie and Charlie know that we were behind our schedule. So on our behalf, they called ahead and convinced the hotel owners to put our dinners aside and serve it to us two hours after everybody else had already eaten. Adventure Base are a brilliant trekking company run by genuinely lovely people who I could not recommend more. Ladies and gentlemen, we are cruising on the Tour de Mont Blanc. Yesterday was a mental day, as you probably heard. Today is a much nicer day. We're much happier. We started off this morning with an amazing breakfast. The Swiss know how to do breakfast. We had cereal, we had chocolate spread, we had everything. It was awesome. And we could shower for as long as we wanted. It's a small things, guys. But yeah, let's get stuck in. It's gonna be an awesome day. We're gonna crush this 16Ks. We're gonna love it. It's been a graph these last few days, but I have to say it's been an absolute awesome adventure so far. We've got two days left. It's Friday today, and these last two days are fairly easy days. Yeah, I really do feel like I've been able to see the best parts of the 
of the trail and enjoy it and crunch a, a heck of a distance. So I'm feeling really positive about this whole experience and I'm really enjoying it. And I know Joe is too. Cheese! What a view, that's crazy. That is crazy. Good morning, my friends. It is day six on the trail. We are on our second last day of the trek. And guess what? It snowed last night. Look at this. There's snow on the tops of these mountains. It's awesome. And I think I'm going to be passing through it. So that is going to be today's hurdle. Also, you may have noticed that I'm out here all alone. Unfortunately, my brother Joe, I've been hiking this whole trail with, he's been suffering with his knees the last few days. And uh, last night he decided to just call it a day on them before they get seriously injured. So yeah, so the, the poor guy's just been struggling with his knees, but you know what? It's important to know when to call it a day, guys. You don't want trail injuries to become lifelong lasting injuries. That would be the absolute worst. So, but it's all good because I'll see him again tomorrow when I'm back in Chamonix. Oh, so yeah, I'm gonna just storm these last two days. The only problem is, is it might be a bit snowy. So that's gonna be a new thing. You have to figure out how to get past that. The higher I go up, the more it feels like a winter wonderland. <laughs> way to end this trip huh <laughs> oh, I've seen all kinds of weather on this <laughs> epic absolutely epic <sighs> getting there slowly steadily <sighs> just plodding along now trying to get to the top of this big hill I think there's a refuge at the top which means there might be a promise of a hot chocolate we will see This is really busy on the path this year, guys. Really, really busy. <laughs> What's the hold up, boys? All right, guys, so we are off the hard stuff, out of the snow, back into the sunshine. What a contrast of a day, huh? It's crazy how quickly it goes from freezing cold to boiling hot and god do i need it these last couple of days have been kind of wet they've been a little bit miserable so it's so nice to see some sunshine to soak it all in i've actually just been sat down eating lunch for the last like half an hour hour just chilling yeah enjoying it because i'm nearly there i've got about three k's or i don't know maybe two to three k's left and it's all downhill so i'm just gonna cruise downhill and then that's my day basically i'll be finished at like 2 or 3 p.m which is quite nice probably could have pushed it to the end today but i'm not gonna mess up my bookings and have to reshuffle the hotels i'm just gonna keep it simple and stick with the plan these views are just epic and they just don't end i could stare at these mountains for ages and over there in the distance believe that is mont blanc that is the mountain that i climbed up last year we've circled this mountain up throughout the last seven days. We've still got one more day to go, but I feel like we're wrapping it up now. All right, guys, I'm here at the hut, I think. Time to check in and chill out. Hey, guys. <laughs> Checking in again from the trail. That's right. I didn't stay in the heart. I decided to do something a little bit reckless I've decided to combine today's hike which was 16 k's with tomorrow's hike Which is supposed to only be 8 k's as I said this morning My brother decided he needed to skip today and the last day of the hike so that so that his knees could recover So I thought instead of finishing at 2 p.m. And staying in that hut for the night I thought I'd push through do both days at once and go and join my brother in a lovely hotel in Chamonix So that's what we're doing. We're pushing through. It's gonna be something like 24 k's today a big, big day. Let's get it done, boys and girls, come on. It's gonna be a sweaty afternoon, that is for sure. Look at these ladders, these are crazy. We are getting there. I'm racing to the end now. All right, 
Head down, boys, head down. To add to the drama of this huge extension of my day, I found out while en route that I actually only had three hours before the final cable cart stopped for the day. So it was essential that I got to the cable cart on time because otherwise I'd have to walk down over 800 meters in elevation loss, which my knees could not bear to imagine. Six days in the mountains comes to an end. Wow, what a trip it's been. Absolutely epic. Back down to civilization, my friends. Yes! Woo! Woo! Yeah, baby! Ba, 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 ba. See you later, mountains. We've had fun. But it's time to say goodbye, isn't it? Oh my God. That was more than enough. <laughs> Look at my skin, I'm all red. What an epic, epic trip. I'm looking forward to being reunited with my brother tonight. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you want to know about this hike. I'll definitely be doing some follow-up videos very, very soon. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.